Hi guys, I'm Joy and this is Yoga Paul's tour. I'm a CA, our conference ambassador. And before we get started, Henry is our cameraman. He's gonna introduce himself. Yes. Hey y'all, I'm the cameraman for today. Sorry, it's a little wonky. I'm trying to trying to hold the camera backwards on the stabilizer. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to be the cameraman today. I'll be monitoring the chat. Um, and so if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, please let us know, and I'll be sure to ask Joy them. Um, and also let us know where you're tuning in from, city and state. All right, okay. Joy. So right outside of the building, you can actually see the business building mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. So if you're a business major, this building is perfect for you. Yeah. And then to the left over here, mm -hmm. um, right down the street, is 1021, which is one of our dining halls here. And... Also, connected to Founders is like places you can eat like where the wild greens are and some chicken. Some chicken, sushi with gusto. Sushi with gusto. Yeah. It's like there's a sushi place. Yeah. I can't, no, I don't know the name. Mm -hmm. anyway. Also, y'all, we're not going outside because it's currently 105 degrees. Yeah. So you will just have to imagine what yeah. it all, what it all looks like. It's very pretty out there. Mm -hmm. It's Arkansas. So. Yeah. And then right here is the um, front desk. Mm -hmm. This is where you'll rent out pots and pans and pull cues and pull balls and um, ping pong balls for downstairs. Mm -hmm. And you also get packages here when there's a desk admin. Right now, there's no one here. Mm -hmm. but, and then through here is the, like, concerts. I don't really, what's the name for this one? Uh, just like the lobby or great room of Yoakum. Okay. So I lived in Humphreys last year, and I was involved in Lee Hawks, which is a student organization. And I actually did some are the hard meetings in this room, so you might have certain things that you do. I feel like if you live in Yoga, we will definitely do things down here. Yeah, a lot of a lot of programs will yeah. probably go on in this room. Yeah. Also, mailboxes are right here for mail that's not packages. Mm -hmm. so, and yeah. you'll find your number and combination on the housing portal. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Cool. I'll just do one last look around. Look around this room. And so, yeah, this will be the site of a lot of a lot of programs and all mm -hmm. hall events in in Yoga. And we just got a question. Does Yoakum have ice machines? Yes. Yes. It's downstairs in the laundry room. Mm -hmm. So we'll show you that in a second. We'll mm -hmm. downstairs. And we just got another question. Um, are there water bottle filling stations? Yes, there are. So here's one right now. Yeah. Um, and there's, uh, I believe there's water bottle filling stations on every single floor. Yeah. And they're, they're kind of like, uh, like this. So Yeah, yes. I think they're all next to the trash chutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your recommended water bottle? Um, mm -hmm. See, yeah. I just want an insulated one because I always need ice. Mm -hmm. So, whichever one you prefer. I have a cheap one from mm -hmm. Walmart, but most people I know use hydroglass. Mm -hmm. I'm very basic with my water bottles. I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, same. You're not flexing with yours? No, I just, it's just whatever, whatever, whatever I can find. So, this is All right. the ground floor. Mm -hmm. And through here is where you can get like vending machine mm -hmm. snacks. And recycling and trash. Gotcha. And I believe out there is the parking lot to yes. uh, for Yoakum and. Uh, you can't really you know, see it, but if you go out there, there's a parking lot. Gotcha. So where are we headed to next? So through here, you'll find the kitchen, which is right here. Gotcha. And mm -hmm. then this is where you can play <coughs> pool or ping pong or mm -hmm. just chill. Mm -hmm. So you'll do like homework, stuff like that. Yeah. But a lot of programs and events also go down on here. And you can uh, rent out the equipment at the front desk, right? Yes. This is, this is where you play with the stuff I just mentioned you can rent out. Gotcha. Also, parking lot. You can kind of see it now. Mm -hmm. And we'll get a better view when we go upstairs, but there's the, the stadium. So yes. very accessible to, uh, to the football games. Yes. Okay. So now I'll take you to the laundry room. Gotcha. So, Joy, what are you studying? What's your major? Oh, cool. Yeah. Are your classes pretty hard, or do you think math is pretty easy? Um, I think theoretical math is very hard. Mm -hmm. So if it's math with numbers, I think it's easy. Is it this it oh, is that way. It is. We are going we to... We just got lost. Uh -huh. Let's put out the series. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there is a series per, like, building. Some buildings actually only have one, like, for four buildings. But mm -hmm. in this building, the series is Lene. She's not changing, and she, she's going to be here. Here. Yeah, she'll be here. And this is her office. Mm -hmm. so. Could you explain a little bit about what CR series do? So series are like in charge of the building. Mm -hmm. They are in charge of the RAs, which are resident assistants, and resident resident assistants are mm -hmm. in charge of each floor. Like mm -hmm. people on the floor, just make sure that everyone's okay. 
and like help with events and stuff like that. Yeah, they kind of help manage the building. Yeah, so they're in charge of them. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. So, well, now to the laundry room. I, I knew it was going to get lost on the way here. Oh, it's so okay. The laundry room. So the person that asked about ice machine, the ice machine is right here. Mm -hmm. So um, next year, or this, this year, it's starting this year, mm -hmm. on August 5th, Mm -hmm. We're going to start using an app called Speed Queen. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yes. And it's going to start like having you swipe to use the washer and dryers. Mm -hmm. And you get equivalent of two wash and dry cycles per week. Yep. And after that, you have to pay $150 per wash and dry cycle. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So, All right. That makes sense. Yeah. Do you have any questions? Perfect. Yeah, y'all. It's kind of new for us. Yeah, y'all. Be sure to let us know if you have any questions about like laundry or um, just yokum in general or living on campus and we'll be sure to be sure to answer them but where are we headed to next now i think we're coming upstairs to our room yeah so we might get cut off for a bit yeah we might we might lose a little bit of uh connection y'all when we go into the uh when we go into the elevator yeah. but if we do uh, just bear with us yeah mm -hmm. we won't take off. yeah yeah, we'll yeah. we are going to the 10th floor to give you the best view yeah mm -hmm. it is the best view it's really pretty mm -hmm. but so uh, you mentioned, I don't know if you mentioned this, but you're going to be an RA uh, next, this upcoming semester, right? Yes. I know you talked about it a little bit. Could you say like what RAs do? So RAs are in charge of making sure that everyone is like safe mm -hmm. in the floor that they're assigned. And it's, mm -hmm. they also put on programs and they fill out the bulletin boards on every floor like mm -hmm. that have different like advice and like things to do around campus. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. But I'll be an RA. Yeah. yeah, we're almost there. We got it, we got it. All right. Okay. We have regained connection, and Yay. we do have a question about reconnecting. All right, so we did have one question okay. um, that was asking, are they the same uh, washing machines, pods, or liquid best? So I believe um, most of the washing machines should be the same in the in the room. Um, and Joy, do you have an opinion on pods or liquid, really? I am a pods fan. Because, oh, okay. Especially if you're living, like, you live in one of the top floors, it kind of... It's not the most fun to like lug down liquid, mm -hmm. and also it's already pre-measured, so then you just throw you're, it. In. You're fancy like that. Yeah, pods are my favorite. I used to be a, I used to be a pod guy, but then um, I became a cheapskate, so I yeah. wanted just liquid. I actually was the opposite. I started out oh. liquid, and then I became a pods gal. Wow, so. look at you! Look at you go! You're, you're... <laughs> also the person asked about water. It, yes. It's not by the trash chute. It's just right here. Yeah, and um. For which uh, works best, you can use either or. Um, I don't think it makes a big difference for the machine itself. Whatever your preference is. Yeah, treat yourself. Yeah, Hot. and make sure uh, parents to teach your teach your children how to do laundry. I know that seems silly, but I've taught boys <laughs> in my yes, how to do laundry. we've had many many residents and students. The bathroom's right here. We're gonna go oh, over yeah, this first. Right. Um, we've had many people who don't know how to do laundry first. Yes. But all right, so okay. this is the bathroom. So this is what a community bathroom will look like. Um, in yoga, there's four per. Mm -hmm. So we're in the bottom floor, I think there's only yeah. two, because on the bottom floor, only... In one sec, uh, could you uh, repeat what you just said, because we lost a little bit of connection, okay. just talking about community yes. bathrooms? So, on every floor of the besides the first floor and the ground floor, there's four bathrooms per floor, and it's one per wing. So, yoga is divided by wings, and the wings are, like, gendered, so it will be female or male. The mm -hmm. floors can be co-ed, so, like, gotcha. one wing could be um, female and the next one could be male on the mm -hmm. same floor. But um, down on the first floor, there's also housing, and it's only half of the first floor, so there's only two, uh, two community bathrooms down there. Okay, gotcha. But there's toilets on this side. So two toilets. Here is the shower. Yeah. And sorry. Great. Sorry. All right. Sorry, I'll just like we're having a little bit of connection issues, but if we do, we'll be sure to explain everything. So, yes. review of the bathrooms. Two toilets and one bathroom area. Looks like there's four sinks, and then we have uh, two two showers as well. Yes. And how many bathroom areas are there on the floor? There's four bathrooms per floor, one per wing. Gotcha. Yeah. So we're. I'm gonna show you a, a pipe chase room first. Cool. Okay. So these are a little bit different than the other rooms available here. They have movable movable furniture, mm -hmm. and they have a TV mounted. Right uh, yes, sorry, I was I was just busy showing off you're good, you're good. off the furniture, but yes, definitely main attraction is the wall mounted TV. And so these are most of the rooms, right? These are only some. No, these are I think there's one per floor. 
Yeah, there it's something like that. They're definitely not the the most common, but we just want to show. You can visit the Yoakum um, Hall page, and they mm-hmm. tell you what numbers. It's usually yes. the last two digits on that. Gotcha. On mm-hmm. And then, should we do one last look around? And Chris, I'm going to look at that that closet right behind you. And then there's this little space where you have your closet. But yeah, so all this um all this furniture is movable. Um, which is different to the to most rooms because they're built in, which we'll go see now. Yeah, let's uh, let's actually get some dimensions here. This is oh yeah, for sure. People are curious, but let's get how long they have the width here. Mm-hmm. from here to here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's right at three feet. Okay. Okay. And then let's get it here as well. It's three feet, three inches. Gotcha. We just had a question come in. Um, enjoy if you don't know the answer to this, that's fine. But do you know which side is B? Do you know the difference between A side and B side? No. So, um, and Christopher, you can correct me if I'm wrong. So the way it typically works is that if you are on the A side, you will be on the left. And if you're on the B side, you'll be on the right. But you don't necessarily have to stick to that. So it's just kind of what you and your uh, roommate agree to. Yeah. Just when you're uh, doing uh, filling out your room survey form and when you're doing room inspections and all that, uh, make sure you let your RA know or whoever's checking it, um, like which side you've been living on. Yeah. But yeah. Um, and let us know if you have any questions about the dimensions of the pipe chase room. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Do you think there's anything else we should measure? Can you get that height from here? Can you get that height? Yeah, just from here to the, to the ceiling? Yes. Let's get it actually from there. It is one foot eleven inches, so almost two foot. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Right. And that's we'll move into the next room then if there's yeah. no more. Yeah, that's like choice, chase questions. Yeah. Also, this is the view. Yeah, um that's it's the just medium. Yeah, this is just yeah, I'm gonna move this up a little if I can. There we go. Yeah, there's the stadium from the tenth floor. Someone just asked how big is the desk? The desk. So the desk is underneath here. So we may need to. Should be able to pull it out. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's move this. Sorry guys. Watch your watch your hands. Thank you so much, Christopher. All right. So let's just do length so width and height. Like, like yeah. So that is three foot and six inches. So three foot six inches long. So let's get the width now. That's two foot. Two foot. So two feet wide, and we said three foot six inches long. And then let's get the height. So that's two foot five inches. Two feet five inches Mm -hmm. tall. And there's two sets of this of these furniture, uh, this furniture in each room. And yes. they have some some drawers in there uh, for yes. storage space as well. The other sets underneath that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Can you get that height? What is the width of the window? Okay. So. So. It yeah. Like this. Or like this. Um. So it would be in this dimension here. Yeah. So just like how like across like okay. that. Yeah. You may be have better luck there, and if you if you need um, I I may have my longer arms may be easier. Got it. I think so. All right. So ten feet seven inches. Ten feet seven inches uh, yes. wide yes. is the window. Go ahead and give them the height as well from yeah. the edge. So like from this or from this? Uh, just uh up that way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's four feet eleven inches. Four feet eleven inches uh tall. Move into the other yeah, yeah, let's move into the other room. Yeah, we'll move if, to the, norm, the, normal rooms, the normal rooms, the regular ones. All right, oh, it's like, down <laughs> this way. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is the furniture that's like the non movable furniture. So beds mm-hmm. move and like. The, the chairs do. The chairs move, yeah. But the desk and the storage spaces, like, they're, mm-hmm. they don't move. Yeah, there's Henry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gotcha, and then there's some storage space up there as well. Yes, there's a lot of storage. Mm-hmm. And I know some people have for these uh, for these closets in the past, they put up curtain rods to uh, 
to like uh, make it seem like an actual closet. Did you do that in Humphreys? Yes. Yeah. I used a tension rod and I. Uh -huh. It just made it more like seamless to me. But yeah. I've seen other people who don't do it and it looks fine. Mm -hmm. Damn, and these cool. beds loft up as well. Mm -hmm. I believe it's every three inches. You can loft them every mm -hmm. three inches. And then, um, Joy, could you measure just uh, like from here down just to see how tall the bed frame is? Yes. It's right at 5 feet. Right at 5 feet. Mm -hmm. And if you want, if you for whatever reason you need to be um, uh, taller, you can go to fixit.uark.edu. I believe that's the link. Or you could also just Google fixit uh, uark. Um, and you can request to have it lofted or have your bed frame be taller. Mm -hmm. um, you can also, during move-in, you can um, get a mallet from the office mm -hmm. and you can loft it yourself. Gotcha. So, whichever is more convenient. Yeah. And then this is an little desk area, and I believe, are there lights underneath underneath yes. there, Joy? Let's see how to turn this one on. They turn on in different places, so I don't know exactly. Yeah, so it looks like it's... Do you see? Oh, I wonder where it is. <laughs> there is a light underneath there. Oh. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, oh. We, I'm sure that was painful for everyone watching, I'm how so it was just sorry. so obvious. Well, we it's, both we I both missed in, it. We were both in Humphreys last year, mm -hmm. and Humphreys has a different it's mechanism, it yes. so we were not, uh -huh. I was not prepared. Yes. But these turn on and off mm -hmm. on a new desk. And then there's also a light up here. Over here. This one's, that one's kind of more like Humphreys, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we have a question. How tall is the window from the ledge to the ceiling? Okay. So... And I'm assuming it's going to be the same as the ch pipe chase room, but we'll see. So it's four foot, 11 inches. Four feet, 11 inches. Yes. All right. We'll do, I'm going to stand at the entrance and give another wider view. And so be sure to let us know um, any questions about, about this room or about Yoakum in general or about living on campus. But in the meantime, Joy, could you talk a little bit about A Week and what that is? Okay, so A Week is the first week like you move in mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of events on campus. Usually there's a like a flyer that's, my flyer was taped to my door when mm -hmm. I first got here and it told us exactly where to go and for different things, but that's where you like meet new friends and I met most of my friends there, like at A Week events. I, I tried to go to every single one, as many as I could. Some of them were really early. <laughs> but mm -hmm. They were really just fun events so that you can meet new people. Mm -hmm. Did you have a favorite one that you can think of or anything like that? Okay. Let me think. See, I think one of my favorite was actually not really, like my favorite A Week event that I did was actually for Lead Hogs, but everyone uh, was allowed to come. And uh -huh. it was um, like, I think it was like, what was it, a treasure hunt or something like that? Like a, not like an obstacle course, but like kind of... We had like riddles we had to do with things like that. Yeah. We worked as a team, and I mm -hmm. ended up having my team become like my best friends for the year, so... That's awesome. Yeah. I know another one is Chocolate Wasted, where... Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they um, they give a... Uh, you get chocolate, which is amazing, but then you also learn about, uh, uh, like learn about alcohol and like yeah. safety tips and, and things like that, which is a great, great one that we do every year. Yeah. Yeah. And for most events, also free food. So. Yeah, exactly. We may be doing Taste of Fayetteville this year, which is um, that's uh, when all a bunch of restaurants around Fayetteville they come and they um, play around the Greek theater. Yeah, right? yeah, they go around the Greek theater and they um, they give out free samples and it's amazing. It was really fun. Yeah, last we year. we just got another question. How wide is the ledge? So I would go over like there. Ledge, that yeah, that's what I assume they're talking okay. about. Um, let's see how wide that is. Oh, it's getting caught on the... Yeah, yeah. It is 10 feet, 7 inches. 10 feet, 7 inches wide, and like we said, it is 4 feet, 11 inches tall. Yes. And in the meantime, I can talk about... Um, talk about pick one. Uh, I'm going to try and move this thing around. Does it look good, Joy? Yes, it looks All right. Good. So we have this, uh, this program, this initiative that's called Pick One. You can find it by going to pickone.uark.edu. And basically what it is is that there's so many different um, uh, campus organizations that you can join. So it may be a little overwhelming, but this program is supposed to help you uh, join one uh, before you come on campus. And so that way you just have like a good starting point, a good community that you're already a part of. So an example, um, Joy was part of Lead Hogs, I was part of Lead Hogs, and that's essentially um, you meet every week with people in your dorm and you help create programs, you write 
bills for student government to make improvements to the, uh, to the residence halls, um, and you can find your community that way. Um, I know another one specifically focuses on uh, UREC, our, uh, our recreational services, and so they go to the Hyper, which is our gym area. Um, they do a lot of events like that. So um, definitely give it a look. There's so many organizations that I can't even name them all, and you can rank them, which ones you want, um, like one, two, and three. Um, to to uh, set your preference for which one you would enjoy. So can't recommend it enough. We also got a question while you're talking oh, about that. Awesome. So I think that they're asking yeah. this way. Yeah, and the question is, how wide back to front is the ledge? So I would guess from like the window. To yeah. So it's one foot. Uh, four inches. One foot four inches. Yes. And I know a lot of people. I mean, at least, at least I think I do. Will put a um, like TVs on their ledge because there are there are outlets um, on that side, so you could put a TV there. Um, but also put it over here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Keep letting us know um, what dimension questions you have or anything else. Joy, do you have any uh, advice or uh, words of wisdom for our incoming freshmen? Connections, making yes. those friends early on. Yes. Gotcha. Do uh, another view of the room. How tall is the closet and the shelves in the closet and above the vanity? Um, I, so this is, I'd say, let's start measuring how tall the closet is in general, like. Uh, and like don't put it underneath the shelves and then we'll see uh, like from here to here. yeah so I'd say start from that and then just see how tall it is in general like including the shelves I don't know it's gonna... okay. it is it says seven feet seven inches tall seven feet six inches and then could you measure um, from below to I mean you could you could also just put it like right here yeah. that would be a little easier I just knew I could not reach <laughs> yeah no no um, okay so that's five feet, two inches. So five feet, two inches um, for there. And then go ahead and measure this shelf right here. So that is eight inches. So eight inches for the shelf, and then you Let's got see it. if I can do it. <laughs> that's one foot, eight inches. Okay, so one foot, eight inches for this top shelf, eight inches for this. Um, and I think we said this was about like five feet something like that this one up here mm -hmm. five feet two inches five feet two inches and then could you also measure how wide yes it is three feet ten inches three feet ten inches yes. okay all right Are there helpers on move-in day? Joy, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yes. So, as I was mentioning, like, RAs, one of the things that they do is help during move-in. Mm -hmm. So, they're around to answer questions and help you um, take your stuff up if you have too much stuff. Also, if you're in Lead Hogs, you, I volunteered to help people move in, so mm -hmm. I was one of the move-in helpers. It also kind of depends on if you're early move-in or, or, like, normal move-in, like, if you're um, in sorority like mm -hmm. uh, recruitment or if you're in league hogs or other organizations to move in early you might have less helpers but if you're here during normal move-in times you would most likely have someone to help you yeah and i think so basically um and sorry if i'm just repeating what you said but i know okay. like soror like sorority is like they'll um, i forget which specifically it is but like they'll come in and help people move in on those specific days for a sorority rush so mm -hmm. big ones are your your ras your lead hogs and then potentially um on the day uh, sorority uh, sorority members coming in to help. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. And there's also like dollies to run out at the front desks for help. To yeah. Buy stuff and you'll have a dolly. yeah you'll have about a thirty minute window um, to to move in your stuff um, to be able to like park um, like near whatever residence hall you're moving into. Mm -hmm. 
after that you'll have to move your car um and i i'm not sure if y'all would have received information about that but if you haven't already you will soon yes so, yes. You know, yeah, like All right, Christopher, do you think we should start winding down? I think we're, we're, don't have any more questions. Okay, gotcha. Well, Joy, do you want to want to sign us out? Thank you for giving us this tour. Thanks for joining me in mm. Yoga's tour, and I hope that you have a great year, and I hope to see you in Yoga next year. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.